Hello, this is T-Rex bringing you back for some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. When we last left off, we were in the sewer systems once again, uh, trying to help Leslie out with reaching Don Corneo. Um, and the party is doing that under the notion that by doing so, that Leslie will help them find a way to get topside. And so towards the end of the last episode, we defeated the foe that um, stole the supposed key from Leslie. Uh, it turned out not to be a key, though, so much. And uh, we found out that it was actually sort of a memento left to him from his missing fiance. And so it sort of seems that Leslie has a vendetta that he's trying to resolve with Corneo and his enlisted Cloud and Company's help to do so, and um, if Cloud and Company help Leslie do such a thing, I guess he will help them get to the top side of Midgar, which is where they want to go to save Aerith. So, um, when we were exploring the sewer systems in the last episode, we ran across the Corneo Vault number three. However, the door to it was, um, or the way inside was blocked, rather, uh, because the area was flooded. But we found a switch towards the end of the last episode that allowed us to drain the area. And so I made my way back over to the door um, outside the area here off screen. And before we head in there, I want to go over Materia as probably what I would consider to be the most difficult encounter um, upon our revisit to the sewer system is down here waiting for us. So preparations for that fight look like this, and that is I have Cloud with the Magnify Healing still, um, Assessed as we're going to be fighting a new foe yet again, Magic up, MP up, another MP up, Shiva, Fire, and HP Absorption. And I gave him the Whistlewind Scarf um, in an effort to boost his AP, ATB gauge a bit at the start of battle and hopefully be able to get the assess off a little bit quicker than what he would be without an ATB boost going into it. Uh, Barret looks like this. AP up and revival combination. Healing materia. Cleansing. Uh, ATB boost. Fat chocobo. MP up. And HP up. Tifa looks like this. Elemental fire, um, warding and time isn't really needed. I just slotted it to gain some AP on it. Uh, there really wasn't anything else that I thought needed to be put into the slots, so this is just here to gain some AP at this point. Uh, lock up, lock up, Ifrit, skill master, ATB assist, and HP up. And Barrett and Tifa still have the champion belts. And I didn't change armor on anyone. I haven't in several episodes. And so with that, we're ready to go ahead and head on into the Corvineo Vault number three. So let's go ahead and head down the stairs. Give them hell. I'm gonna enjoy this. Try and get a lifesaver up. All right, let's go ahead and assess the new foe while I have the ATV charge on cloud. Okay, and we're fighting the Sahagan Prince now, and he uses the Toad debuff um, in surprising frequency. Along with the Sahagan Prince, we're also fighting two other Sahagans, which will uh, treat us similar with debuffing the party with the Toad status. It's a real problem in this fight, and if we're not um, conscientiously focused on eliminating the Sahagans quickly, it can easily get out of hand, so that's where I'm going to turn my efforts to first. But um, we have some information here about the Sahagan Prince. Um, with the lesser Sahagans out of the way, he's not as much of a threat. It gives us some tips on how to stagger him. It does seem to be that he's prone to getting pressured, so that's something that we can exploit, hopefully, when we take the uh, Sahagans down. So yeah, but that's gonna be the primary focus here. 
We want to be trying to avoid the salation curse as much as possible. So yeah, I just got hit with it there. Sooner. Got it charged. Now I turn back apparently. And on that note, let's go ahead and use a Kira and clear it. takes care of the Sahagan Prince and his cohorts. And now we're free to loot the area. There's a number of crates down here that we can break, some of which we probably broke during the course of our battle already. Oh, let's see, where do I want to start with treasure? Let's start over here. We got an elixir. and an enfeeblement ring which is our second one of those and what that does is it allows us to enter battle with the toad status um like i said can't figure out why it is we would want to do such a thing but maybe a strat later on will make it evident where that could be beneficial who knows and over here we got another chest with an emerald tiara y'all okay, think we got everything question is now what it's not gonna be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Marl? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to. All right, and so the Corneo Secret Stash side quest updates now. And apparently we need to return to Marl with the key items that we've acquired throughout the course of the quest, um, namely the tiaras. And so we have three tiaras now. We just got the emerald tiara. We have a diamond tiara. As well as the ruby tiara. So apparently that's something that's going to have to wait for a little bit later on. Um, now we need to backtrack to where it was that we uh, activated the pump or the drain system here. The lever that I pulled towards the end of the last episode. So that we can continue progressing the story. So I'm going to head back that direction now. All right, and so we're back now outside the lever, and so we want to head up this ladder and follow Leslie to continue advancing the story. All 
We have a ladder here that's a one-way trip, so once we drop down, we're not getting back up. And Leslie is over here, so we'll go ahead and follow him again. Keep an eye out for any crates that might be about, though. So our main quest objective updates at this point. And so Leslie told us to wait outside, but apparently that's not what we're supposed to do. So I'm going to go ahead and follow him. However, before I do that, I want to check my inventory. I used a few Maiden's Kisses in that last fight. And yeah, we can go ahead and take the opportunity to stock up on a few um, with the vending machine here. So let's go ahead and do that. Buy a few more items. We're certainly enjoying a little bit more wiggle room with our finances and have been for a little while. At least that sort of seems to be the case in my opinion. Hopefully I'm not wrong, but we'll see how the uh, rest of the game shapes up, I guess. Go ahead and bring myself up to 15 with those. Smelling salt. Yeah, why not? I got four of those. That should be good. Don't want to go wild, but we got a little bit more wiggle room than what we were experiencing in the first half of the game. And so now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and make some changes to loadout. As once we pursue Leslie through the door, we will get another boss fight. So I want to make some changes in preparation of that. I think Cloud's fine for the most part, but I just want to double check. Yeah, I'm going to give him a star pendant. Uh, the boss will be employing the poison debuff, so we can sort of um, uh, prepare for that, I guess. Take some preparations for that anyways. And then I'm going to give Barrett a warding and poison combination on a similar note. Got the new orb of poison materia, so we'll go ahead and put that in and start sinking some... AP into that. Uh, healing should be fine. Cleansing looks good. ATB boost is alright. That's fine. MP up, HP up, and champion belt. Yep, he looks good. Uh, Tifa elemental fire. Warding poison. And we'll go ahead and replace Skill Master with Steel. As this boss does have an item that I want to take from it. So we can make sure we get the chance to do that with the Steel Materia equipped. Champion Belt looks fine. And then one other change I want to make is to set everyone's limit breaks at this time to level 2. And so level 2 limit breaks have the benefit of increasing stagger. And that could be a nice feature to be able to make use of here in a boss fight. So we'll go ahead and put those on. Uh, the level 2 limit breaks definitely take a lot longer time to charge, though, than the level 1 ones as well. Which certainly seems to make the level 1 limit breaks more practical towards, like, um, our um, monster variant fights because they're probably middle tier as far as challenge goes, I would say, and then the bosses are top tier, and then you have your normal foes, which would be the bottom tier, I guess. So 
At least that's what it sort of seems like thus far. And we're ready to head through the door now, so let's go ahead and follow Leslie and see what happens. There's another bench in here, but there's no vending machine, hence why I backtracked to the vending machine that was, or the bench by the vending machine that we ran into earlier. And we're going to head through the other door. We got it's a cutscene. Got some urgent info for the Don. Mm -hmm. Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. And now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. <sighs> I'll let you in on a secret. Chimra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? What do you think? You've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Uh. <laughs> 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 Feel free to play with your food. Shut up. Bastard. First him, then Corneo. Gotta stay on top of this. I'm counting on you. All right, so we're going to get the opportunity here to upset, assess Abzu round two. And so this is our rematch against Abzu. He is certainly far less fearsome this time around is what it seems like. Um, however, he does employ a number of the same tactics that we did. And he still uses the backwash and the backwater blast, which can be rather dangerous if we're not making an effort to avoid them. Um, in addition to that, he's going to be summoning Abzu Shots into this fight along with him. And so uh, what seems to work best based off of my practice runs is to make a concerted effort to take down Abzu and not focus on its offsprings. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing in this fight. He does have a turbo ether that I'm going to try and get off him as well. And then he has a weakness to fire that I'm looking to exploit. And so Barrett's ranged attack will come in handy at times. 
as well. There's periods of time in which he will jump out of melee range and we're left using ranged attacks like Barret Scatling Gun or Magic to target him. And so uh, I think that that's about it as far as strats. Oh yeah, Max Fury works pretty good on him. Uh, that's been my observation in my practice runs as well. And then maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a level two limit break charge and be able to force a stagger on him with that as well. But let's go ahead and get the turbo ether off of him first. Try and target the tail as well. He has a couple parts that we can target and cripple. So we want to try and do that. There we go. So not too difficult to pick up there. And we can go ahead and use regen. Uh, it's practicality somewhat hampered by the fact that uh, the Abzu does employ debuff that will poison us. So this is the part where go ahead and hit the left horn with some fire too. Then oh, let's see if we can't use a maximum on the fury. point it's going to start using the Don't backwater blast and uh, so that sort of will hamper the practicality of our uh, regen spell. Guess it's my turn. Got a whole people 
All right, let's go ahead and use the dolphin flurry. So we defeat the Abzu again. And it looks like this time he's not coming back. So, unless he's just unconscious. But, who knows. So we'll go ahead and head through the door here. As that's our next objective. Is to check to see if Leslie's alright. So let's go ahead and do that. You okay? Where's Cornell? Sorry, bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh. She could still be out there. You can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. So that's all that there is to do down here in the sewers, so there's no treasure or anything in this last room, at least not that I'm aware of. So we can go ahead and head on up the ladder and follow Leslie. Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one way tickets. 
so once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find it. You too. So at this point in time, we're allowed the opportunity to return tomorrow, and since she's all the way out in Evergreen Park, I think I'm going to go ahead and select yes. More people here. Everyone who got out ahead of us has probably moved on. And we can talk with her then. What brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The Angel of the Slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. And with that, we finish the Corneo Secret Stash side quest. And we also get a, another uh, manuscript for Cloud this time. And so those are used for raising our SP total again. And so we have quite a bit of SP at this moment. Or not quite a bit, but a decent amount that we could put to use anyways on both Cloud and Barrett. And so that's going to be something that has to wait for another episode. I think that this is going to be a good place to stop for now. So I'm going to save my progress with that. And that will do it for this episode. So thanks for watching and tune in next time. There. Not too shabby now, is it? Why waste time crying when you could be doing something useful? <laughs>